Hello and welcome to our series on being brilliant at the basics. My name is Tommy Heffernan, I'm a vet in Wicklow and today we're going to talk about stomach tubing the calf. Stomach tube is a fantastic tool, but often what we find with stomach tubing is people are sort of afraid of using them. What we want to do in this video is create confidence around its use and how to use it. One thing we'll say is maybe have two stomach tubes in your farm, one for colostrum and one for treating the sick calf or rehydrating the calf. So one thing before we place the stomach tube is to know how far to put the stomach tube in. And a simple rule, I've marked it here in red, is actually from the tip of the nose to the, the elbow is about the length that the tube needs to go in. So some tubes are marked, but you can also mark it yourself. And you'll get to know yourself how far to go. But that's a general rule, from the tip of the nose to the elbow is the length the tube is inserted in the calf. But one thing I like to do before I ever put a tube in is I tell people to feel the calf's neck. And when you feel a calf's neck before you put the stomach tube down, you'll feel the windpipe. It's like our own windpipe, it's got the rings on it, and it's just a, a useful guide when the tube is there. When the stomach tube has been placed, you'll actually feel it lying to the left of the windpipe, and I use it as the two tube rule. When we know that we have the windpipe and the stomach tube separately, it's safe to pour, and it's a very useful little trick that I've always found when stomach tubing. So when we go stomach tubing, we restrain the calf. So I generally will back them into a corner. The more struggling you do with a calf, the more difficult they can often be. So if you're relaxed with a calf, it's better. And we gently pass the stomach tube over the tongue to a point where they swallow. We gently insert it to a point just about here. And I will feel the neck, and I again can feel the windpipe, and I can feel the stomach tube. I'll bring up my bag. and I'll begin the process. Holding the calf and the stomach tube. When we finish stomach tubing, we gently slide the stomach tube out and remove it. Just one important thing I'd like to emphasize is when you're using a your stomach tube, and that's actually the maintenance of it. The bulb at the top of the stomach tube is rounded to make it easy and swallow, and it's also quite smooth. It's something you don't want to get damaged because it can damage the back of the calf's throat. Just check that your stomach tube, like any machine or implement on the farm, is clean and working well. 